Here is Trump, the board game. Trump. Our president of the United States of America, to which it stands one nation under God, indivisibly, with liberty and justice for all. That's our American flag. This is our current president. Love him or hate him. Trump is the only president in the history of presidents that I know that made a board game and he made it before he became president. So, for all the gamers out there, that is an accomplishment in itself and that is pretty cool. I have multiple copies of his game and I will actually review them and show them to you. I have several copies uh, of the Trump game. Now, this box looks like I'll have any of his boards, which that's pretty cool. Uh, boards. Oh, this game is awesome. I like playing this game. Oh. Basically, everybody starts on start right there and you have these little boxes which I'll show you there in another game and um, you put I uh, think a certain amount of money in them every time you land on them you have to put more money in them uh, you have casino the hotel this trade of property cruise line and the game has two phases tropical island Airplane, convention center, office building, sports complex. And uh, what you do in the, the, the game is you have these little boxes which each have properties. As you go around the board, you land on for sale spaces and you sell, you put up one of these things for auction. You take your money you have in your hand, which can increase or decrease. Like... Depending on places you land, like here, you get more money by rolling it up. And you also draw a card every turn, which lets you do stuff. There's various different cards that you can do stuff. Uh, here's here's the rules. Um, see, you have these boxes, and you put you put. Um, 50 million in each box. Uh, okay. And each player starts off with 400 million. Uh, it has two phases. The first phase is the buying phase. You go around the board until you buy. All these are bought up. Uh, basically, you go around the board, you sell them, they go up for auction, you bid on them, and you Now, also, you have trump cards, which the trump cards, you can use, you draw one and you play one, and each person starts with certain amount of trump cards they let you uh, get more money based on what you own so those are nice there's uh, your fired cards there's um, where you can kick someone out of the bidding and there's cards that let you go get back in the bidding uh, the Donald card lets you get back in the bidding then there's um the uh, deal phase after you play everything's bought up you go to the dealing phase and you just make up random any kind of deals you want to make up to try to make uh make up points uh make money so you you um so you basically you try to talk your opponents into uh making a deal for you. you can make any crazy ridiculous insane deal you want to make i mean well i have a bunch of versions i forgot how many versions i had I, I mean i have a bunch of copies i forgot how many copies i have i have like four boards in here um, and that's the uh that's basically it and uh let me let me see what's in this one well Another board. How about that? Uh, actual another board. Um, is this still the, yeah. Okay. Um, 
so basically I think the whole I think I have a whole good set in this one well I do okay um I didn't forgot that I had a fairly perfect edition here like I said you have these different boxes so there's a sports complex and you got millions 100 million 50 million 10 million there's a casino there's the tropical island there's the cruise line there's a hotel there's the airline there's the office building and there's the convention center so those are your buildings now in the updated version some of your buildings change so uh, that happens and then like I said you got these trump cards which and you got trump cards and you got the little T little T figures for your pawns and the die which has the cool T on it which lets you draw a trump card. Every turn you draw a trump card and you put it in your hand and if you can play it use it. So we'll just look at the trump card. This one makes you play a uh, makes people pay taxes. If you have the casino, that one's a good one. See, Trump knows you have to pay taxes. He paid taxes. He wouldn't have implemented it in his game if he didn't pay taxes. Uh, there's a you're out of the bidding, which is in this game it's called you're fired because he made this version after he had his apprentice show. Which I actually think I have the Apprentice game too somewhere. Uh, so. So, uh. This is actually a pretty awesome game because. I have multiple copies, and the reason I have multiple copies is I kind of kept finding it at thrift stores. And I think. The, the, these uh, let you uh, outside investor cards they let you put this some other person's money and so when you're bidding you don't have to bid with your own money so you got extra money but uh it's fairly simple you go around you make the properties worth more money you uh then try to make deals which involves selling the properties or renting the properties, leasing the properties from other people so that you can use these trump cards that you have extra. Or you can sell the trump cards to people. Uh, if they have the property, and that one forces the sale. Um, so, uh, it's a uh, own any property. Uh, so there's basically these different things you get to do depending on what you have in your deck. So you make money. And uh, after there's nobody wants to make any more deals, the dealing phase is over with. And. It's, uh, you count up all your money, you open up all your buildings, you, uh, count up that money that's in each building, and you add that to your other total, and, uh, you pretty much that's pretty much the game. I mean, it's pretty fast paced. I sometimes play it where people can buy more than one building of the same kind. Just, you know, because I like the game that much, I guess. Enough that it's not whether you win or lose, but whether you win. So you knew with attitudes like that, Trump was going to win the presidency. 
he was probably not going to give up unless until he won. So, uh, that's Trump. Now, I'll, in this one, I have the newer remade version. Uh, I think I have both versions and maybe in here too. Um, I have multiple versions, of it, uh, multiple copies of it too. And <clears throat> its rules are basically the same, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. And the buildings are basically the same. Cards are basically the same. The die is essentially the same. Oh. Put the, the rules are essentially the same. It's played all essentially the same except for... I made a new, a new board. <coughs> Excuse me, which is pretty cool. I mean, they kind of added a little bit to it. They uh, got office building, sports complex, golf course, tropical island, luxury residence, casino, and hotel. So they they got rid of one thing and put in something else. So. Uh, they got, basically the cards are the same, the money's the same. Uh, I'll just look at the cards. <coughs> I got two decks in here, so... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I must have the cards to the other one. The cards are a little more colorful in this one. The money is, while it's still the same, uh, you got new trumps. So the money is the same. It's uh, now, I think it's uh, in a new denomination. Like I said, the cards are changed, and now they actually say you're fired to kick you out of the bidding instead of. And the, the cards are a lot more colorful, which is nice. And uh, the outside investor changes from outside investor to Trump backs you. So uh, there's that. And there's a couple of new cards put in the deck. Like multiples like if you buy three or four or whatever buildings you get to make more money and there's a the donald and there's now there's a also trump tips on every one of them there wasn't trump tips on the other one so he you know offers you this and you get these donald cards which lets you get back in the game um and there's a few new um things based on the cards like this one, for example, own three. There's a own four one. And this is like multiple things of cards here. So uh, it's just a bunch of cards. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's just Trump, the game. I mean, he's a uh, and money. So he. He made this game. This game is, uh, I like it. I mean, I like our President Trump. I mean, I didn't vote for him because I'm, I mean, I didn't want to vote for Hillary and I didn't want to vote for Trump. I didn't want to vote for either one of them because, but Trump's been keeping his promises. I mean, he didn't lock Hillary up like he said he was going to, so that's one promise he didn't keep yet. But, uh, I mean, he hasn't quite built the wall, and he hasn't really technically, 
hasn't made Mexico pay for it like he said he was going to do that too. But a lot of the things he said he's going to do, he's been pretty good at doing. I mean, I'll probably have vote for him on the next election. On the grounds that I don't vote Democrat. And I'll probably, uh, even though I'm a constitutionalist libertarian, I'll, which we like businessmen. And he's a businessman, and I think he's a pretty decent businessman that's been doing pretty good for our country. And, uh, a lot of people hate him, but uh, it's just the liberals media that's trying to spin it where he's all bad and stuff, but you can't really believe everything everybody says. So, uh, Trump, uh, Trump's a game. Uh, he, he's back and you're fired. Uh, he's in Washington, D.C. and America's great again he's making america great again so uh just jeff's board game reviews like comment and subscribe if you don't like trump you might still like his game because it's a it's a pretty i mean honestly i think this is a game even you trump haters will probably enjoy playing because it is fairly fun and enjoyable to play especially I mean, it's kind of boring going around at first, buying and just putting in money for the properties. But where the real fun comes is in that second phase where you start dealing and you just make these wild, crazy-ass deals. I mean, you just, like, I'll rent your property for $50 million for, like, two turns. So you can use this card to let you make, like, $160 million. It's like, yeah. And people are like, uh, they, like, want your property so bad because they have like 10 cards in their hand at the end of the game that's like all like means all of them say you need to like private island or something and you're this other guy is a private island and you're like man i need the private island so bad because all these cards is going to make me these money and it's like i'll give you 100 million for it and then the person's like no i'll make it 200 million and you're like sold and it's like awesome you know and stuff and you just make these crazy wild insane deals i mean that is the best part is where you just make these wild insane deals uh the, that's probably the best part of the game is you learn great valuable negotiation and deal making skills you try to make money and if you make the most money you win capitalists like making money so uh you might not like this game if you're not a capitalist, but, uh, hey, this game, uh, it's more realistic and like Monopoly, so, uh, y'all should check Trump the game out. It's a pretty decent game. Uh, the only downside, maybe, is while Trump is a, uh, conservative, uh, and capitalist, you might not like that. Uh, if you don't like Trump, you probably won't like that. And this game's all about capitalism. So, uh, if you don't like capitalism, you probably won't like this game. Um, but you probably won't like any money-making game if you're really, truly honest with yourself. If you aren't into making money and being capitalistic, you probably won't like any money-making game. Um, the other thing I would say is Trump's a little bit of a me, me, me. Look, he put his literal, his pace on the game. Uh, the board I showed you earlier, he literally put his face on the board. His name's all over the place. Uh, the pawns are literally T-shapes. Um, it says the Donald is the card that you use to... Like, his face is on the rules. His face, his, his, uh, Trump tips. He gives you little Trump tips. His, uh, but, uh, he's, like, literally all over the game. It's his game, so I guess technically he has, he has every right to do so. Um, so, uh, everybody have a great day. Vote. Signing up.